All right, what's up guys? Uh, I'm going to be doing a review on the store shoes. I noticed there haven't been any, uh, a lot of those coming out since they were released. This is what they look like. And we're gonna start talking about the grip. Now the grip, uh, it's a one piece sole. You can see it right here. Um, surprisingly, really, really grippy on some surfaces, not a lot of grip on other surfaces. And I'm gonna go through it from like how, uh, how it is out of the box all the way to where it is now. And these are about two to three months in. I haven't been doing a lot of training recently, but they're almost done. Um, first part of it, there it's like a it's like a piece of piece of rubber that you'd see on like an eraser or something. It sheds really easily right out of the box. Uh, it's generally pretty soft. You're going to see a lot of grip on textured surfaces like stone, concrete, um, stuff like that. Wood kind of okay, but on slick surfaces like painted materials or rails, stuff like that, you're going to have a lot of trouble. Uh, the second layer, which is about one month in, one and a half months in, um, it gets a little bit weird here because the the rubber it hardens up, it gets it gets like it it gets slicker as uh, as you as you wear it in, and it starts to have problems when you heat it. Heating is it is uh, when you go like this when you when you rub on the shoe everything like that. It starts to have problems heating, so you're going to have to be doing that a lot more. You're going to have to rub the dirt off your shoes a lot more one to two months in. Uh, about two months in, like right at the end of two months to three months, depending on how often you train. I train like every day. So uh, you guys might have different experiences, but with the first model shoe that they have here, the rubber starts to soften up a little bit. As you can see, it's really worn down. I think there's going to start to be a hole in it uh, just any week now. Um, at that point, I, I seriously recommend you guys replace it after about three months. Uh, because the rubber, it does soften up, so it becomes easier for you to get your slick surface training in, like rail precisions, uh, doing climb ups on like painted walls, stuff like that. But um, you're going to notice that you're slipping a lot more on other surfaces, like your textured surfaces, your concrete, all your normal things. It's going to be a lot harder for you to stick your jumps and get proper climb up tech and all that stuff because of how it wears down. All right, going from the outsole to the midsole now. Midsoles, we're gonna be getting a lot of your cushion, all right? Um, as far as the shoe goes, it's, uh, I've been heard it's described similar to the Reebok Classic Nylon. If you guys know what that shoe is, it's like super, super thick all the time. People say that they don't get a lot of ground feel for it. Um, I would say that this is almost as much cushion as the Classic Nylon, but it's just, uh, just enough to, uh, lessen impact while increasing ground feel. All right, it takes a couple weeks to break in, so I'd recommend uh, walking around in it. It does feel a little bit clunky at first, like you're going to feel like you're like going heel flat and there, but it's going to start to roll after a while. All right, the midsole itself is actually flat. There's no arch support in the shoe. It may look like there is some, but uh, the 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 sole itself is completely flat. So for those of you guys that have high arches, you might experience some problems at first before the shoe forms to your foot and breaks in. All right? Um, as well, the heel is actually kind of high, for me at least. Um, it doesn't feel like a normal trainer. It's, it's kind of thick right here. You can see it thins out in the forefoot. But in the heel, um, it feels like more of like a, like a heavier running shoe. I've heard it's also been described like a thicker version of your ASIC Shaw Runner, if you guys have those. So bear that in mind, if you guys have uh, high arches or something like that, you guys might have a little bit of trouble with this. All right, we've gone through outsole, midsole, now we're gonna get into the upper. Next thing I wanna talk about is weight because that's one of the main things that people look at in a shoe. For the amount of cushion that this thing provides and for how thick it feels, it's actually super light. I, I compare it, it's actually pretty close to like your, your Chill Pill Transit or your, your Vans Ultra Rain, something like that type of shoe. It's really light for, for how thick it is. I know the, the classic nylon is a brick, but this one is, this one's amazing. Um, couple things that people also look at in terms of like durability and stuff like that in the top part. Uh, something, an interesting feature that they added on to the, uh, to the shoe is they have this kind of hardened, I'd have to cut open the shoe to show it to you, but they have this hardened toe box area thing right here, and it prevents people's toes from pushing through the pushing through the mesh right here in the front. Uh, the way it goes is there's a inner nylon booty, so it's a, it's a one piece uh, thing in there. You don't really have to wear sh uh, socks with this if you don't want to. And then there's the mesh part on top that you see here, 
and then there's the suede here. So there's three different layers that you have to get through in order to push through on here. So you're never gonna have that horrible toe pushing through the front of it because it also has this part right here where your big toe usually would come through, you know? Um, the, and I do like, I've been doing like 100 climb ups a week at least uh, since I've had these shoes, since I started training in these shoes. And something that a lot of people experience is this part of the, the rubber, it pops out, it starts to peel away, and this thing's been destroyed. Like you can see that this part, the foam on the outside is wearing down faster than the rubber is here, and it's still sealed in there pretty good. All right, so we talked about this section, we talked about all the other parts, now I wanna get into the certain features of the shoe that I actually really appreciated. I have flat feet. Like if, if you've ever met me in person, you've seen me barefoot, I can clap my feet together. It's really weird. I, I'll show it to you at some point, but not right now. Um, but there's a lot of people that have problems with the medial longitudinal arch of their shoe. It tears apart like right here in between the, the mid and the upper. I've never had that happen. It's not even close to coming apart in this shoe. It's really well designed. The, the heel uh, foam is designed in such a way like there's multiple layers that you can see right here where when it compresses it just pushes itself right back. So there's a lot of shoes that you'll experience like I know for a fact that uh, the chill pills have this problem. You'll experience like the, the sole, the midsole and the foam just starting to compress and it gets flatter and flatter and flatter and it, it starts to get hard. Uh, the shoe is still as cushiony as when I got it out of the box, so that's not going to be a problem for you either. A couple drawbacks to having a shoe this thick, though, and like with all this material on it, like I said, there's like three layers to the upper, um, is that even though your foot's going to feel like it's like locked into the shoe, it feels really nice, it's really comfy, the, it gets kind of hot in there because it's not very breathable. Like I said, there's a whole ni uh, nylon layer, and then the mesh, and then the suede on top. So you're going to feel like your shoes are you're kind of swimming in your shoes a little bit. It's going, to kind of, it's going to get kind of wet down there, so be careful of that. All right, and as far as other uses go, I, I know there's a lot of people that only take one pair of shoes to do, like, pretty much anything. Like, you wear it for street wear, you wear it to lift weights to go walking, running, hiking, travel, everything like that. Um, as far as it goes for me, um, because the heel is a little bit high on this and because the cushion is a little bit much. I personally don't like how it feels when I lift weights, especially when I'm doing deadlifts or squats, anything like that, because of the, because of how, you know, it feels like it feels like I'm lifting on a pillow, and I, I don't, I don't like that feeling. But again, that's up to you. Uh, as far as like walking around goes, hiking, uh, running, I did say before that it has a, uh, it has a flat insole. So you guys that have high arches, if it doesn't form to your foot correctly or um, you know, you're, you're trying to break it in, you may have some trouble with walking or running long distances or anything like that. Um, I personally, because I got flat feet, I walk in them all day, I use them for work, I do an eight hour shift, I'm on my feet the entire time uh, and I'm completely fine. I could probably do another eight hour shift right after it. Um, for streetwear, I don't know. I mean, that's that's up to you guys. You guys see it. Personally, I think it looks really good as a trainer, um, but I don't see myself walking around with these like in my jeans and my, my like my button down shirt. I wouldn't go to the club in these. So again, that's up to you. I don't even think they'd let you into the club with these, but you'll have to try it on your own. All right. So for those of you guys that already made it this far, awesome. I'm just going to give a quick summary of uh, like how I feel about these shoes. This is stores first model shoe like this is their mark one so that of course there's going to be a couple issues with it the only major issue i have is with the grip but as their advanced tracers that actually might be on purpose this is going to be for more of an intermediate to advanced tracer like it's it's forgiving enough for you to take hard drops you know store does that stuff all the time but you really have to rely on your technique here you're going to find yourself slipping a lot if you don't really focus on how you're landing or how you're hitting the wall or how you're hitting the rail um, so I wouldn't recommend this for beginners, one, because of the cushion, you know, I, I prefer uh, more thin shoes anyway, but this is really good for, like, this is, this would be your workhorse shoe, this is like your travel shoe, the shoe you use for competition, for anything like that, when you're really on your game. Um, besides all of the, besides all the things that I've already talked about before, the price for me really isn't worth it. I got these as a gift, so I didn't pay for it, but I think they're about... 110 pounds, which is close to 100, I think it's like 120 
plus or minus 10 or $20 for shipping if you live in the U.S. Um, I don't think it's worth the price. The way that I usually factor in my shoes is I like to get at least one month for every $10 I spend. These only lasted me about three months. If you do decide to get them though, I'm a size eight and a half. I usually uh, float between size eight and a half and size nine US. I, I got these as a size eight US. So if you're floating in between a half size, you might want to get half a size lower. Get the size lower because they only have it in standard size now. Um, Besides that though, I really like these shoes, depending, because they have, store has said that they have, they're working on fixing the rubber and stuff like that. Depending on price for me, depending on if I can afford it or not, I don't usually get more than one pair of shoes. I don't usually get multiple pairs of shoes, but if I run out of other shoes and these are available, I might plan on getting these again. So that's the review of the shoe. Hope you guys enjoyed watching, because I, you know, I'm me, and I'm awesome. Um, but Store did an awesome job here. If you don't know who Store is, why are you watching this video? Go watch some of theirs because they're way better than me at this. Uh, but yeah, awesome shoe. I might be able to get them again.